we're off to a clear and warm start this morning across the Arkansas region. We're not tracking anything as far as any rain or really any cloud cover, and it's really across much of the region out towards the Ocotex area as well. The nearest rain to us is up in portions of Missouri just to the northeast of Branson, and there was some showers and thunderstorms that were moving throughout parts of uh, Georgia and the Carolinas, but that has since dissipated along with some of the cloud cover as well. But we are off to a warm start. Temperatures are in the lower 80s this morning. We're currently at 81 for Greenville. It's 80 for Greenwood, 81 for Clarksdale, also 81 up in Pine Bluff. We're at 77 for Batesville. It's also 83 in Tupelo. Now across the state, temperatures, they will be in the upper 90s and there will be some locations that will be right at or around the triple digit mark, especially east of I-55 from Tupelo down into Columbus. Unfortunately, it's not going to feel like the actual temperature. We are expecting heat indices to exceed 110 degrees today, and that is why much of the Arkansas region is under an excessive heat warning. We're expecting our heat indices to be at 112 to 113 degrees, and that is why if you have any outdoor plans today, it might be best to just cancel those and not be outdoors this afternoon because it can be potentially dangerous if precautionary measures are not taken into effect. Now, much of today will be mostly dry, expecting plenty of sunshine. will be warm throughout much of this morning, be mostly mid to upper 80s, but it'll be this afternoon and later on today when we'll be in the mid to upper 90s. But if you have to be outdoors for any particular reason, just remember to stay hydrated, find shade, and reduce any type of strenuous activity the best you can. Wear lightweight, light color clothing. But like I said, if you can just remain indoors, that is going to be recommended for this afternoon. Now, we are expecting the heat and the humidity to last as we go into Saturday, reaching a high of 98. We are expecting scattered showers and thunderstorms, but as we go into Sunday, with that frontal system that moves on through, we are expecting slightly cooler conditions reach with a high of only 92, but it will be less humid as we go into next week. Now, we do have an area of low pressure right now moving throughout parts of Missouri. There is an associated cold front with that, and we are expecting that to make its way into the Mississippi Delta later on tomorrow, and it is expected to bring that slight relief from the humidity that we so desperately need. Now, future tracker shows much of the region will be mostly dry, will be partly cloudy later on this afternoon as we go overnight, expecting mostly clear conditions. Once we head into tomorrow, we'll see a few showers and thunderstorms as early as 10 o'clock in the morning. Those are not expected to be strong or even severe, but later on that afternoon and going into the evening hours, that's when we could see some isolated severe storms that could produce wind gusts up to 50 and 60 miles per hour, and we could still have some lingering activity as we head early into Sunday morning. Now for Saturday, we do have a marginal risk for severe weather that covers much of the arc in this region and a large chunk of the southeastern part of the country, but the main threat is the possibility of some damaging winds of 50, 60 miles per hour is what we're currently looking at for tomorrow. Now the extended forecast will be dry on Monday. Temperatures will be mostly lower to mid 90s. We'll see more showers and thunderstorms as we approach the mid part of next week with temperatures dropping back down to the lower 90s.